Chris Heights police continue to investigate a deadly hit and run crash. Police say the 19 year old suspect not only intentionally hit another car, but was also driving under the influence of marijuana. CBS 13's Mark Thompson is live at the Citrus Heights Police Department with the latest for us, Mark. Yeah, guys, the 19 year old suspect in this case is currently under a psych hold and was unable to make that initial court appearance this afternoon. Meanwhile, police here at Citrus Heights are starting to shed more light into exactly what led up to that deadly hit and run crash. Her arraignment postponed. The attorney for Christina Diaz says she's currently being held for a mental evaluation. The 19 year old facing a long list of charges for causing a deadly crash that claimed the life of a driver from Citrus Heights. It was around 6 30 Tuesday night when police say she intentionally rammed a Dodge van with her car while driving on Greenback Lane near San Juan Avenue. After striking the van, police say she lost control and swerved into oncoming traffic, hitting a Mercedes, killing the driver, 45 year old Andre. Tegensev of Citrus Heights. Heard this loud boom, sounded like somebody dropped a car out of the sky. Terrence Dyer is a barber at Cecil's hair salon across the street and witnessed people trying to help the injured in the aftermath. The first guy I saw, he actually looked inside of the car and backed up. So I knew something terrible that happened. Police say their specially trained drug recognition experts were able to determine Diaz was under the influence of marijuana. As for why they believe she intentionally hit the first car. We don't think that it was a, a, a road rage incident. And police say Diaz did not know the occupants. So at this point what we do know is the evidence on scene which includes physical evidence and, and statements obtained by parties that were involved as well as witnesses. Um, indicate that the initial um, act by the 19 year old female colliding into the back of the first vehicle what was an intentional act. And again, Diaz faces a long list of charges, including DUI and a hit and run, also vehicular manslaughter. Her arraignment has been postponed. It's been uh, rescheduled for tomorrow at 1.30 in the afternoon. Guys, back to you. Mark Thompson live in Citrus Heights for us. Mark, thank you.